Hi, I'm Megan. I'm the Inclusion Specialist for Adaptive Recreation, and today I have a fun gardening video for you. Hope you enjoy! So first up in today's video, we're going to learn how to sprout tomato seeds. So this project will require a Ziploc bag, a damp paper towel, and some tomato seeds. So you're gonna start by opening your Ziploc bag and placing your wet paper towel inside. Just like that. Then you're gonna open your tomato seeds and pour out about 10 into your hand, just approximately. And then you're gonna place your seeds, space them out evenly along the wet paper towel. We'll put them here. After you place your seeds, you're going to press down gently and try and get them to adhere to the damp paper towel. And then you're going to zip up your bag. Our next step for the tomato seeds is to take some tape and put it on the back side of the baggie. You want your adhesive facing the same way as your tomato seeds. Then you're going to take your baggie and put it on the window, like so. Then, in 14 days, your tomato seeds should sprout and look just like this. We'll check back in two weeks with you. Make sure to check your progress along the way. For our next project, we have a special guest, Limon. She's a two-year-old Meyer lemon tree. And today, we're gonna learn how to make a lemon tree from seeds of a real lemon. What you're gonna need for this first step is a paper plate, a knife, and some paper towels, and a real lemon. Before you do this part, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have parental supervision or permission to use a knife. So you're gonna start by cutting your lemon in half. And you want to locate the seeds. So the seeds are these little things right here. Like they're gonna be kind of slimy because they're covered in pulp. So you can use your fingers or you can use a knife or a fork and just kind of pop them out onto your plate. And you don't need that many unless you wanna grow a whole village of lemon trees. So for this one, we're just gonna have the three. So for this part, you're just gonna take your seeds and you're gonna put them in your paper towel and just give them a nice rub because you want to get the pulp off and make sure they're nice and dry. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to sprout. Some people also do this by putting the lemon seeds in their mouth and sucking the pulp off, but uh, I don't like that. I'll just get this one. So again, just get your seed, rub it in the paper towel, and get it nice and dry. All right, and then you've got your seeds and they are ready to plant. All right, so for step two of your lemon tree, you're gonna want to get like a soda bottle or if you have actual planters, you can use that too. Um, but any kind of plastic bottle will work if you just cut it off, like cut it in half and then you just have the bottom. Make sure you rinse out any additional residue like soda and stuff because you don't want that in your soil. Uh, and then you're gonna need some soil and you're gonna need the lemon seeds that you already dried off. So we're gonna start by filling whatever container you're using with soil. So if you like to dig your hands in dirt, you can just use your hands. If you don't like the texture, you can use a spoon or a little shovel, whatever you have laying around your house. You wanna fill your soil about three quarters of the way full of whatever container you're using. So probably another scoop or two for this one. We'll do one more. There you go. So it's about three quarters of the way filled. 
And you don't want to pack it too hard, just loosely pack it so that the water can drain through and it doesn't stay too moist because otherwise your seeds won't sprout. So you want to take just one seed per container and you're going to plant, just put the seed right on top of the soil, just like that. And then you're just going to take another spoonful or shovel, whatever you're using, and cover that seed up. You don't need to pack it down or anything. And then you're just going to sprinkle it with a little bit of water and find a nice sunny place for it to stay. Then, in about two weeks, we're going to come back and we're going to check on our lemon trees and we should hopefully see little sprouts coming up for our baby lemon trees. And that's how you start a lemon tree from seeds of a real lemon. Our final project today is going to be planting garlic cloves. So for this project, you're going to need again some soil, some kind of utensil to scoop your soil with if you're not comfortable using your hands. So again, I'm going to use a spoon. If you have a small shovel, you can do that or you can just use your hands. We're going to use another half, like bottom half of a plastic container. You can get any kind of plastic container or if you actually have, you know, cute little pots sitting around your house, you can use that too. And then you're going to need a clove of garlic. So for planting garlic, you want to break your cloves off just like that. You're only going to need one clove per container and you want to make sure you leave the white husk on the clove. So we're going to start now that we've broken up our garlic, we're going to fill our container three quarters of the way full with soil. You want to leave it loosely packed. So don't pack it in there, just go ahead and dump it in. So this one will probably, there we go. And for this video, I actually pre-sprouted some garlic cloves so that you can see. So you can actually sprout garlic cloves without even putting them in soil. Um, but their roots won't develop too well and they won't continue to grow until you put them in soil because that's where they get their nutrients from. So for this video, we're going to go ahead and plant the pre-sprouted garlic clove in the soil. So you just want to dig a little bit, just stick your finger in and kind of loosely press down, kind of like you're playing with like the clay pots in art class again. And then just stick your clove so that you cover the entire top of the clove. So if you're planting a pre-sprouted garlic clove, you always want to make sure that this green end comes up because this is the part that's reaching for the sun. So here you go. You can see we've got our little garlic clove planted. And then when we come back to this video again in two weeks, we'll hopefully have a much larger little sprout for our garlic clove. And that's how you plant garlic. Now remember to water your plants from today you want to make sure that the soil and the paper towel stay damp at all times, not too wet and definitely not dry. So you can do this if you have a mister. You can use the mister from your spray bottle to keep the soil and the paper towel damp, or you can choose to water every three to four days. Next time, we're going to check on our growth of our tomato seeds, our lemon trees, and our garlic cloves. We're also going to learn how to propagate lettuce and peace lilies. See you next time.